Hello and welcome to day 19 of Pondering the Proverbs. I'm your host, Pastor Biata, and I'm so glad you could join us once again for our ongoing virtual study of the book of Proverbs. Who is the king in your life? Much of the writing in Proverbs speaks of monarchy. I don't know if I feel as beholden to an elected official as someone who is supposed to be serving me, rather than a king who I would serve. Who do you let be the monarch in your life? Is it your job? Is it another obligation? Is it an individual person? Who do you treat with that reverence, respect, and fear? A reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 19. Better the poor walking in integrity than one perverse of speech who is a fool. Desire without knowledge is not good, and one who moves too hurriedly misses the way. One's own folly leads to ruin, if the heart rages against the Lord. Wealth brings many friends, but the poor are left friendless. A false witness will not go unpunished, and a liar will not escape. Many seek the favor of the generous, and everyone is a friend to a giver of gifts. If the poor are hated even by their kin, how much more are they shunned by their friends? When they call after them, they are not there. To get wisdom is to love oneself, to keep understanding is to prosper. A false witness will not go unpunished, and the liar will perish. It is not fitting for a fool to live in luxury, much less for a slave to rule over princes. Those with good sense are slow to anger, and it is their glory to overlook an offense. A king's anger is like the growling of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A stupid child is ruined to a father, and a wife's quarreling is a continual dripping of rain. House and wealth are inherited from parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Laziness brings on deep sleep, an idle person will suffer hunger. Those who keep the commandment will live, those who are heedless of their ways will die. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and will be repaid in full. Discipline your children while there is hope, do not set your heart on their destruction. A violent-tempered person will pay the penalty. If you effect a rescue, you will only have to do it again. Listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom for the future. The human mind may devise many plans, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will be established. What is desirable in a person is loyalty, and it is better to be poor than a liar. The fear of the Lord is life indeed, filled with it one rests secure and suffers no harm. The lazy person buries a hand in the dish and will not even bring it back to the mouth. Strike a scoffer and the simple will learn prudence, reprove the intelligent and they will gain knowledge. Those who do violence to their father and chase away their mother are children who cause shame and bring reproach. Cease straying, my child, from the words of knowledge, in order that you may hear instruction. A worthless witness mocks at justice, and the mouth of the wicked devours iniquity. Condemnation is ready for scoffers and flogging for the backs of fools. Holy Wisdom, Holy Word. Much to the chagrin of teenagers everywhere, there is a biblical precedent for being told they cannot sleep in and be idle. Laziness brings on deep sleep, an idle person will suffer hunger. Which proverb do you think would have been helpful to you as a young person? Which one is most helpful to you now? Which one from this chapter is your favorite?
perhaps you've heard this one before. The Lord helps those who help themselves. And it is true that often those who learn to solve their own problems with minimal advice and counsel are less likely to need drastic assistance. So if you effect a rescue, you will only have to do it again. How do you help someone without rescuing them? How do you help them stand upright with God's help rather than propping up with temporary human assistance? When I was in high school, uh, I was involved in several extracurricular activities, and there were a few times on Friday nights after football games where the exhaustion of the week would catch up with me, and I would fall asleep eating my late night snack that took the place of dinner. Our scripture today says that a lazy person buries a hand in the dish and will not even bring it back to the mouth. There's not a whole lot of context for this one. But it brings up a strong image for me all the same of the times I fell asleep with a fork somewhere in between the plate and my face. Where do you think this proverb applies to our lives? What context would you give it? What wisdom is it trying to share with us? Humans are planners. We have a plan for this and a plan for that, especially if we're trying to explain why something hasn't happened yet. And some actually follow through with their plans. One of our proverbs today tells us that the human mind may devise many plans, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will be established. Do you think our plans matter? Are they still our plans if we make them according to what we think God's will is?
In our scripture today, we are told that loyalty is valuable, desirable, and this is true. Who is someone in your life that you think of as loyal? How are you loyal to others? How is God loyal to us? And how are we supposed to be loyal to God? How do we take action with that wisdom? you join me in a prayer. Oh God, as we make plans, as we dream of the future, as we speak foolishly, help us to keep you in mind. Help us to keep your wisdom in our hearts. Help us to follow in your paths of righteousness and good ways, so that our plans may be aligned with yours, and that all that we do may bring you glory. And that when we hear your wisdom, we may take action upon it and transform our lives. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in to chapter 19 of Pondering the Proverbs. I hope that you've enjoyed our discussion questions and that if you've got a real life discussion partner, that you've spent some time pondering these together. If you do not have an online discussion partner, or if you want to leave a comment down below, let us know what you're thinking about the Proverbs. If you enjoyed this particular video, be sure to give it a like. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that big red subscribe button. And if at all possible, share this video with somebody else. And as ever, God be with you till we meet again. Go in peace. Bye-bye.